Hello, this video is a post bag related specifically to building my big battery. So I think I'll start by going and having a look at my big battery. So here's the uh, big battery. I've had to put it in the kitchen today because <laughs> I'm running out of space and I can't really go outside today. Yeah, it's really horrible, wet and rainy. So I can't even really get to the shed today. Anyway, back to the battery. So this is the 8S, eight cells in series. You can see the eight cells on the top there. Uh, 5P, five cells in parallel. So I've got two sets of these boards. Uh, the top boards are linked to the bottom boards now with these high current cables. The angle brackets on the top mean that I can get to all of the intermediate uh, cell points for things like the balancer well also the voltmeters and you can see the eight voltmeters i've looked up the first and last just to show what they'll look like eight voltmeters and you'll notice they're in a slight arc and i've done that intentionally because these voltmeters in the middle read slightly high uh, well slightly higher than these other voltmeters so when this battery is fully balanced there will be an arc of voltages because of the fact that these uh, battery testers aren't all exactly in agreement. So that's the state of play of the 768 watt hour battery as it is at the moment. Let's go and look at some post um, containing things to uh, continue this build. And the first one really is this. So let's move everything out of the way and take a look at what's in here. And it's this. So let's tear open the pack and get this out. It is an eight cell uh, active battery balancer. Now you've probably seen that I already have a four cell version of this which appeared to work very well so I've gone and got the eight cell version. Uh, these are the cables that come with it. Now when I opened the four cell uh, version I said oh these are oh there go <laughs> there go all the plastic feet. Um, these are very optimistically thick, another plastic foot, the fourth one shot across the room, thick wires. But actually I've seen currents of up to, uh, I think about 500 milliamps with this thing, <laughs> get rid of all the rubbish. Um, so yeah, I mean, these wires are probably good for about, uh, ooh, probably 10 amps or so, but um, yeah, I think they're commensurate with the sort of currents. Uh, I, th I think the maximum current this says it could do is three amps, but I very much doubt you'd see three amps unless one cell was fully charged and another one was fully depleted. Uh, the colour sequence is slightly interesting here. It goes black, white, green, yellow, green, yellow, white. What's that one there? Oh, green and red. And so on the battery, I'm going to sort of follow this colour sequence. Now in terminal posts, you don't get white, you get blue. But I can go red, green blue for white, yellow, green, yellow, green, white, and then black, just so that it will cause probably slightly fewer slip-ups um, <laughs> with connecting the banana plugs. Here's the four cell version of this balancer, which I put through its paces in a recent video uh, about voltages and currents when using an active balancer on a battery. But let's take a look at these uh, balancers on AliExpress. So here's the item on AliExpress. Uh, it's a whole group active balancer lithium, uh, lithium ion or LIFEPO4 battery equaliser. You can see here that they do the four cell version. They do a 6S version and this is the 8S version. The 4S is 531. 6S is 828 and this 8S version $11.25 there's also $4.18 uh, for shipping and of course VAT will be added when you buy it. Uh, DIY box electronics mall. Okay next up these four and I'm going to open all four of them together. Um, I know there are wires in here so I've got to be careful with my cutting. Perhaps I'll cut them off camera. Right, they're all open, so let's pull out the content. So we got that, we've got that, we've got 
this one, and this one. Okay, let's take a look at them. And they are these things, uh, BMSs. Now, three of these would appear to be uh, 4S BMSs. These two look identical, actually, apart from the colour coding. This one's got a lot of orange and yellow in it, and this one's more primary colours. Uh, this one's bigger and is an 8S BMS. Uh, this one is a 4S BMS, very different looking. This one, uh, it's got a little metal plate sitting over the MOSFETs, but they all essentially work the same way. You've got a row of MOSFETs in parallel. You've got a set of charged MOSFETs, a set of discharged MOSFETs. Um, you've got a controller IC. This one's got two for whatever reason. And you've got some balancing circuits. Now these all balance at very low currents. And so that's why I use the active balancers because I just don't think these achieve anything, particularly with lithium ion phosphate because very quickly it falls to its middle area where all the cells are pretty much the same voltage anyway and a balancer has negligible effect. It only really does anything when the cells are pushed up to their top where it top balances or pulled, I suppose, down to their bottom voltages where the balancer bottom balances all the cells. Uh, I've actually got another one sitting on my desk here, which I opened a little while back because I was just intrigued to see it. It's got a sort of black plastic cover over the uh, circuitry on the bottom of the PCB and a metal heat sink which sits on top of all the MOSFETs. But it's essentially the same layout. You've got your charge and your discharge MOSFETs all in parallel. Uh, so the more of those in a row there are, the more current it can handle. Uh, and you've got uh, balancing circuitry and a microcontroller or a control chip to measure all the voltages and look for any one of the four or eight cells going below its minimum voltage where, whereupon it cuts off the charge MOSFETs or if any one of the four or eight cells goes above its maximum voltage it cuts off the, sorry, cuts off the charge vo uh, MOSFETs there if, if a cell goes below its minimum, it cuts off the discharge MOSFETs. Now, I think most of these are what they call common port, um, where you just have a P minus, that's pack negative, and a B minus. So B minus goes to the most negative point of the battery array, and then P minus is what you use as your outside connection. But you both charge and discharge from that P minus. Now this one's slightly different because this is a separate port uh, BMS. So you've got a B minus, a P minus and a C minus. So this is pack negative and all the switching is done in the negative, of course. Uh, this goes to the negative of the battery cells. This is your pack negative for discharge and this is your pack negative for charge. So you would charge and discharge through different ports on the BMS. Uh, okay, let's, well, I'm not going to look at all these on AliExpress, but let's just pick one. Let's pick this one and look at it on Ali. Right, this is one of those BMSs uh, on AliExpress. They're very cheap. I mean, 297 okay, yeah, there's shipping of 313 But I mean, the total price is something like $6. Of course, you've got to add on VAT. Um, but yeah, these things are manufactured in vast quantities, so they are very cheap. So here you can see, oh, that's got, yeah, this is the one that had the aluminium cover over it, the very tiny one. It is an 8S, you can see the 8 uh, or the 9-way uh, connector there. These are the balance circuits with the 101 resistor, which is 100, so that's 100 ohms, and these presumably MOSFETs. And then these are the MOSFETs, which are the charge and discharge um, switches. It's common port, so it's got a P minus up here and a B minus down here. There's no C minus. There's no separate charge port. Um, this one came from LYPZUX store, but all these things are a similar price. They're all pretty good value. Now I will put links to all of the ones I bought uh, in the description below the video so that you can uh, have a look at all of them. But I think the common factor between all of these, I mean, yes, they are all very low priced, 
They're all pretty small as well, aren't they? And they all are all obviously very cheaply made. Uh, the sort of BMS you might use in an electric scooter, you know, the type that catches fire overnight. No, that's not true. Those electric scooter fires are largely down to people uh, replacing the, uh, uh, the AC power block with the wrong type. And then, of course, it cooks the batteries. Anyway, enough of that. I want to open that box now. Yeah, this one, because this was me sort of saying, I don't know about all of these. They're all a bit small and cheap looking. So this is kind of a step up. This is the next uh, level up in terms of BS BMSs. It's not a smart BMS. It's not programmable. It is all fixed voltages, but it's just the sort of next level. So this is the BMS. It's just a heavier. In fact, I've got a feeling, yes, it is. The PCB is actually aluminium. So all the surface mount components are uh, stuck down onto what is essentially a metal PCB. Then there's another aluminium sheet across the top. We've got nice um, contact points, which are these little threaded mounts, and they supply all the uh, screws and the ring terminals for that. It's an 8S BMS. There's the cable that came with it. And the manual is also in there. So this is um, Yun Hui, I think it was, uh, BMS. It's a slightly different price bracket. It's probably more like about £15. But you can see there are a lot of MOSFETs in there. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably about 10 in parallel. And you can see on the end here, I'll get in a bit closer. Yeah, you can see on the end here, uh, the MOSFETs sitting under this sort of conductive heat foam, which is pressing down on all of them. As I say, there are a lot. Oh, maybe these end ones are diodes. Oh, actually, no, 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 they're MOSFETs. The middle leg's been cut off because, of course, it's the same connection point as the tab. So, yeah, they've all got their middle legs cut off. But, uh, yeah, this is, I think this is rated for, well, yes, it says everything here. It's an 8S nominal 24 volt. Actually, it's 25.6, isn't it? LifePo 4 BMS, 3.2 volts per cell. That's the model number. Common port for charge and discharge. So it's a common port BMS. 80 amps, which is why they've given you these big, chunky terminals. They've paralleled up two B minuses and two P minuses. Um, so P minus connect to charge and discharge neg negative pole. B minus connect to the actual negative pole of the, the cell array. So yes, I just felt that this was a slightly more upmarket, uh, more expensive, but much better made. Oh, it's some more stuff on the back. Oh, it's all in Chinese. Uh, BMS. So let's go and take a look at that on Ali. So this is the item. It is a Yunhui Star BMS. Uh, yeah, now this one will work with 5S, 6S, 7S or 8S, LifePo 4. Lithium iron is a different one. You have to select that in these down here. So I specifically bought a LifePo 4. Uh, not sure what those voltages are. 80 amps with balancer. So this also has a balancer in it. It's probably not a high current ba balancer. We'll look at that in a moment. So yeah, $13.85, free shipping, but you've got to add VAT. So it's probably around £15, that sort of ballpark. Common port, 4S to 8S, uh, free assembly cable, free wiring ring terminals, and free screws on here. Now the choices are, sit, oh, how, oh, that's the price for the 6S, sorry. Uh, let's go to the 8S LifePo 4. Yeah, it's not a massive amount more. I mean, that's £14.17 still free shipping. They do 7S lithium ion, 7S LifePo 4, 6S lithium ion, 6S LifePo 4. So this came direct from the Yunhui Star BMS factory store. Uh, they only do BMSs, I think, or related products. Let's just scroll down a bit and have a look at some of the description. Uh, yeah, it can be used for 4S to 8S. 12 volts, 24 volt battery pack. They do lithium ion versions and LifePo 4. Make sure you buy the right one. Uh, lots of details here, uh, including all of the set points, overcharge, protection voltage, 
is triggered at 3.75 for LIFEPO4. Overcharge, protection, delay time. Uh, what's that? One second uh, for LIFEPO4. Oh, much shorter times for lithium iron. Not sure why that is. Uh, overcharge, protection, recovery voltage is 3.60 for LIFEPO4. So all the detail is here. And it just seems like a, a bit more of a serious BMS. Um, applying these to my build, the balancer, I did think that, and I've got to be careful not to drop this, that could sit there under the centre voltmeters, and you can see the connector for that. I can drop the wires down into this sort of void on top of the cells, and then bring the wires up, and the banana plugs will go into these banana socket so yeah that could go there I think there's a little LED on here somewhere is that it there yeah there's an LED oh yeah it's up on that uh, left hand side so there'll be a nice little LED to see there so I'd quite like to have that visible on the front I mean I was thinking that could go around the back but I would like that to be visible now I've noticed that the BMS has no mounting points on it these corner rivets are actually screwed in with screws on the back. So there's no actual mounting for this. However, what has just occurred to me is that it could sit there, couldn't it? Because this point here is B minus, so that goes to the negative, most negative point of the cells. If I brought a, another couple of these sort of link pieces across onto these screw points, that would just sit on the side, and then the cable could come out of the top there and go into what I was thinking of doing with that was using fork terminals under these um, these uh, tightened down things. So banana plugs in the top for the balancer, fork terminals in there, and then actually these uh, voltmeter, these wires from the voltmeters will go actually onto the threads underneath because I've put little four mil uh, lugs on those. So yeah, I'm quite liking the idea of hanging the balancer off the side there simply because it's got no way of mounting it other than mounting it using these um, these screw terminals here. And so these are today's post bag items. Now if you've liked this video press the like button press the like button and a big thanks as always to my Patreon patrons. I mean let's be clear about this um, Patreon patrons donate dollars uh, through Patreon. Those then are sent monthly to my PayPal account and I buy this stuff using US dollars um, from my PayPal account. So Patreons, it's you guys who are really supporting uh, my videos in terms of buying all the parts for them. So big thanks to you guys. Um, if you would like to become a patron, I'll put a little box that you can press there. More videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. And there'll be a subscribe thing down there. Cheerio.